Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer's Monday Evening Bulletin, brought to you by Indigo Communications. Hearts manager Robbie Nielsen branded his captain Craig Gordon as the best goalkeeper in the country after a string of saves against Celtic kept the Jammers in the game for a long period of time. Now look, Craig is exceptional again, you know, he makes big saves, but that's, that's what he does. You know, he's, he's a, in my opinion, the best goal in Scotland. You know, I think he showed again today that he's, he's a top, top keeper. I don't expect him to get back in it. I don't see anybody else that's, that's doing any better than him just now. So I think he'll win the next squad and then it's up to Steve to decide whether he's number one or not. Let us know who you think the best keeper in Scotland is by voting on our Twitter poll now. Celtic manager Ange Postacoglu has reiterated his desire for more additions to his squad, believing that more players can help his side keep up their intensity throughout the 90 minutes. Unfortunately, that's the position we're in at the moment, but hopefully getting a few more players in will allow us to just maintain that tempo for the full 90 minutes and give players the support they need. Former Aberdeen defender Tommy Hoban has decided to retire at the age of 27. Hoban played 44 times for the Dons last season and moved on a free transfer to Crew Alexandria this summer, but he's been played by injuries throughout his career. And Wraith Rovers manager John McGlynn is aiming for League Cup glory after his side came from behind to knock Aberdeen out yesterday. We're in the quarter-finals. Since the first time since 94, Rob told me, so I'm delighted at that. The only unfortunate thing was that was when Wraith Rovers won it. <laughs> uh, so to try and uh, you know, equal that, if that's a right word or not, uh, puts enormous pressure on us, but we'll take it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget you can catch up on the football show exclusively on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel. The panel have discussed all of the weekend's action and who they think the best keeper in the country is.